in covalent network solids, the atoms can be covalently bonded together in a 3D network, like diamond for example, where one carbon atom is bonded to four others in a tetrahedral arrangement. Or the solids can be multi-layered, such as with graphite, where each layer, being a sheet of graphene, consists of a bunch of covalently bonded carbon atoms, and then between the layers, you have intermolecular forces, which are weak van der Waals forces. So covalent network solids can consist of one element, such as diamond, or multiple elements, such as silicon carbide, where one silicon is bonded to four carbons in a tetrahedral arrangement similar to diamond. So typically covalent network solids contain a carbon or a silicon because these have four valence electrons and can form a lot of covalent bonds. So due to the strong covalent interactions, these types of solids have high melting points and they're rigid and hard because the covalent bond angles are fixed. However, graphite is soft because you have weak intermolecular forces between the layers and they can slide past each other easily. And as you can imagine, the electrons are not free to move around in covalent network solids, so that also makes them poor conductors. But these can be made semiconductors through a technique known as doping, which is beyond the scope of this course.